Hi, I'm James, and in this video I am taking a look at Cyberpunk 2077 running on Intel Core i5 1135G7 graphics with the 1.1 patch and the latest, uh, I believe it is, 9168 drivers from Intel. And we are running the game at low detail, um, 1080p uh, borderless window, but a 50% render scale, so we have the equivalent of 540p rendering for the 3D in the game. And although this is marked as a AMD setting, um, it works fine on Intel Integrated Graphics. I've left the start in here because it was a bit funny when the game loaded in. Um, the car and Jackie were largely invisible. Uh, they did pop in and I didn't notice this particularly when playing through the game. I think it was just this initial loading sequence. Uh, you can see here you see through and then suddenly he appears. Um, Anyway, testing this again because it is actually really the first time the game has been playable on Intel Iris Xe graphics. Um, when the game first launched out, it would just give you a flatlined error as soon as you lo loaded the game. Um, I believe it is the latest Intel drivers, although they did not list it in the fixes. Uh, since then, again, apparently the game has worked. It may also be coinciding with the 1.1 or one of the other patches that they've released, but someone very kindly commented to try it out. Um, unfortunately, on the i5 here, the game really isn't playable anyway. Um, what we can see here using the Windows frame rate monitor, uh, the GPU is maxing out in terms of performance. Um, but we are typically seeing frame rates you know, under 20 frames per second. It does improve in some of the indoor sequences, um, but out in the open world you're looking sort of mid to high teens, um, and general combat is just not particularly fun when you are regularly below 20 frames per second. It really comes quite difficult to aim and shoot just because the game is very jerky. Um, compared to the Renoir-based chips, the 4300U and 4500U I tested, there's definitely a step down where you're going from sort of mid to high 20s down to a high teens, low 20s. And you really have hit that point where even if you want to make it work, it's really going to be hard to have fun with this. Um, it is possible that the 96 EU uh, version of the Iris XE core in the Core i7 may perform better. Or if you have uh, LP DDR4 4267 uh, memory, that may also give a boost, bit of a boost. Unfortunately, I don't have a machine equipped with that and the Iris XE core to test. I do have one with the i3, but that is a less powerful graphics core and I haven't had a chance to set it up yet. But anyway, we may see further improvements with the game still being actively patched and Intel working on drivers. But as it stands at the moment, I don't really consider this a playable experience. You can get through some sections of the game, but it's going to be quite frustrating. I hope you found this video useful. If you've got any comments, please leave them below. Um, do let me know what you believe is playable for this. I didn't think testing this at 720p and 50% render scale is was really worth doing because it's just going to be so low detail doing that. But if that's something people want to see, I could potentially test it as well. Anyway, uh, please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Uh, hit like if you found this helpful. And thanks for watching.